Hello guys, Dello304 here, and my box is right over there, and that is my 4 gigabytes of RAM for this computer. We will be, this is going to be the first part of the upgrade series for this computer. There are probably only going to be two, two parts to this. I might do three, I'm not sure, but the next part will be the optical drive, because I'm going to upgrade to a DVD-RW. But anyway, um, today is part one. Welcome to the series if anybody is new watching, which would be everybody because this is part one. So welcome to the series. We're going to be upgrading the memory from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes of PC DDR2 PC2 6400 at 800 megahertz. I'm going to flip a little display around on my camera so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to open that. Ah, sorry. Okay, I got my trusty scissors here. And we're going to go ahead and, oh wait, I don't need scissors for this. I'm going to go ahead and open up the memory now. Let's see if I can Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna open up this box. I got this in two days, which was really good because I paid for extended shipping, but it's a good seller. I seem to have a lot of good experiences on eBay. Um, so, okay, let's open this up. Do do do. We have some newspaper. Okay, we have another box. Chuck this out of the way. And let me open up this. Sorry. Hi, Lucas. And then let's. Oh boy. This is wrapped good, which is good, because I want I don't want my memory being dead when I get it, so. That's good. Okay, let's open her up. Here they are. So these are two sticks of, uh, here, let me flip the camera around again, turn the light on. Okay, these are two sticks of Hynix 2 gigabyte PC2 6400S at 800 megahertz. So I'm going to be installing these, they'll be in dual channel and everything like that. So that's going to be cool. It's going to be twice as much memory as I have right now, which is two gigs. I got 14 minutes approximately left on my camera because my battery is extremely low. Um, so. Whatever. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and shut down my computer because I need to change out the RAM. I didn't do it before video because I'm stupid, so don't ask. <laughs> let me go get a screwdriver. Okay. Most Dell computers use standard number one um, screwdrivers, so I just have this little uh, number one screwdriver here. I know it's not in focus, so I guess I can do that. There you go. Uh, so we're shutting down the computer. This is going to... I can multitask because it's got that nice Core 2 Duo chip, but um, the memory, it's using at least 60% uh, when I'm doing anything, um, you know, on the computer. <laughs> so it's time to upgrade. So I'm just... Dusty, dusty, dusty. I have a dusty room. Okay, let's go ahead and close the computer. Go ahead and unplug it. And let's go ahead and flip her over carefully because I don't want to scratch this, you know, finish on the computer, even though it is scratched up beyond belief. You just can't see it. They're mostly little scratched, which is good. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be going ahead and removing one screw in the center. Move the camera in a little, I guess. Turn it down like that. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one little captive screw in the center. There we go. Captive so it doesn't come out. Get off of the packaging. Go ahead and slide this forward. Go ahead and open it up. And inside we have, let's see, let's see if I can zoom in a little. We have access to everything in the computer, which is very nice, and I really like that. Uh, so you got your processor here, your CPU fan there. The packaging is still sick, sticking to me. Um, we got the memory here, which we're going to be replacing. We got the the Wi-Fi here. We got the Bluetooth. You know, we got everything. Display connector. We're all. You know, we're all accessible, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom up on the memory right now. Oops, sorry, wrong way. There you go. There's the memory. Let's go ahead and eject it. So the current one in here is a Samsung 2 gigabyte, uh, 6400 module, but it's only one, or one gigabyte, sorry. So we're going to go from 2 gigs to 4 gigs, which is going to be awesome. going to upgrade the speed and everything of this computer, multitasking ability and everything. Okay, so let's insert D-I-M-M-A-B, A-B. So let's put 
number one. There's numbers on the back. It, I know it doesn't matter, but I'm very OCD, so I'm just going to do this because I'm like that. There's number one. Here's number two. And it's as simple as that. Just make sure they're seated correctly. They're all the way in the slot, and you shouldn't have any problems. I love this Dell Latitude. It's so easy to service. Okay, let's go ahead and slide the um, cover back on. Go ahead and tight, re tighten up that captive screw. We now have 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, which is great because I really need it. I can't really survive off 2 gigs anymore. I used to be able to survive off, hell, a couple years ago I used to have 512 megabytes of RAM, and I was fine with that. Now I can't really survive off anything lower than 2 gigs. So, uh, let me go and zoom out here. Alright, I plug the computer in and move the old RAM chips out of the way. I guess I could probably sell those on eBay. Um, let me go ahead and open up the computer again to the correct hinge length. There we go. I know, I'm a very OCD person. Don't comment about it. Well, you can comment about it, I guess, because everybody knows. Anyway, let me go ahead and move the camera back. Let's move it up like that. Let's go ahead and power it up. And it boots right up. No problem. It's just taking a little bit longer because they want to check the memory. It's got to do a memory re recount and everything. So that's cool. But it is working. I know that. Because it wouldn't... If the memory wasn't working, it wouldn't even turn on. So I know it's been installed successfully, which is good. It's just taking a while for it to post. It's got to learn you know, the new memory issues. I've done these kinds of series on all of my computers I've had in the past. My, sorry, voice crack there. My Dell Inspiron 1525. I've done it on my Dell Inspiron 1501, and uh, that's about it, I guess. Oh, and I did the D420 upgrades too, which I still have that computer, but it's on eBay. So if anybody's interested, hit me up. Um, it might be sold very soon, so that statement won't be valid for very long. Anyway waiting for it to continue or finish its post, which is going to take a freaking while. I want you guys to see all this, you know what I mean? We've got nine minutes left on the camera. Okay. Come on, little latitude. You can do it. It's just memory. It's almost there. I'm trying to make this interesting. Um, the amount of system memory has changed. Try to F1 key to continue. Yep, I know about that already. Okay, we're starting Windows 7. Oh wow, that was fast. That was much faster than it used to be. Like it would take at least 10, 15 seconds for that little window animation to come up, so it just came up right away. Cool. And I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to speed up the boot up. I don't really care about the boot up. It's not that slow. It's not, it's not amazing either, but it's not that slow. I'm not, I don't really care about that. I care about, you know, application performance and multitasking, so. And I get a lot of voice cracks lately. Okay, that was much faster. Just like, popped up. Boom! Wow, there it is. Everything loaded right away. See, it never used to do that. It used to take a little while for the desktop to come up. We got the gadgets already, we got the icon, we got everything. We're only using 30% of our memory now, instead of 60. So we just cut the memory issues in half. So that's very nice. Everything, wow, everything's already loaded. The hard drive is still chattering away, but... Oh, just calm down. That's it. It's ready to use. Boom. Boom. It's that quick. So, indeed, we do have 4 gigs of RAM. Unplug it and take off the camera off my broken tripod. I did break my tripod a while ago, but still, I can still get it to function. So we have four gigabytes of DDR2 memory now. Anyway guys, that's it. My camera's dead, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.